Hey guys, I want to talk to you real quick about not only a new product, but a new partnership that I've got going on, and that's with the Valley Hoop. You know, really, really cool little company, family owned and operated, products are all made in America here. Um, they're based out of South Florida, and these guys are really honed in on helping anglers like you and I catch more bait. That's really what it boils down to. You know, of course, everybody's been using cast nets forever and they're incredibly effective. There's no question. I've got a whole series of them. And there's a time and a place for that, but there's also a time and a place for the bally hoop. And that's really all that this is, as you can see, it's just a big diameter net. You know, it'll float back in the current with the accessories that are provided and literally it just makes catching ballyhoo and speedos and you know other types of bait really really easy really efficient and anybody can do it because look let's face it not everybody can throw a cast net that's the that's the truth right you know skill level age strength whatever it may be and like i said sometimes you don't even need the net there's so many ballyhoo behind the boat you just deploy the bally hoop and you're loaded up in one pull couldn't be any easier than that various configurations that they sell all the way down to their latest version the blade which this large net literally collapses to fit into a small little 18 inch bag um, and that could fit anywhere so they've got some other cool products as well you know uh, nets for piers and bridges. They've got really cool chum bags and some other exciting products coming down the pipeline as well. Um, so I'm happy to be working with these guys. You're going to see a lot of the Bally Hoop in use on Florida Sport Fishing TV, and certainly you'll see it on Captain Mike's rigging station. So we're going to get out there. We're going to go through the whole process, show you how, when, and where to deploy the Bally Hoop. Um, you know, and how easy it is to catch that bait. So stick around. In the meantime, get out there this weekend. You know, hopefully there's going to be some good conditions wherever you are. But one thing's for sure, the bite is on fire.